Continuing my search for cheap solar charge controllers and cheap solar products, I found this on eBay, and it's a solar charge controller. It's an MPPT claimed charge solar charge controller. What I liked about this is you can clearly see from the listing and from the actual device in front of you, it does have some sort of controller here, a little microcontroller of some description. A MOSFET there, some diodes, and an inductor. So I was fairly confident this is definitely doing some sort of DC to DC conversion, and that at least fulfills some of the brief of a maximum power point tracking solar charge controller. But when I looked into this a bit more closely, you can see there is a large low value resistor here on the battery side and presumably that's looking at current going into the battery here but there's no equivalent resistor on the solar panel side here in fact there's very little there's just the input here a smoothing capacitor and then we're going straight into that MOSFET so how is this doing maximum power point tracking well, taking a real close look here, that little IC, controller IC, is a CN3722, so let's see if we can find the data sheet. And yes, we can. It's made by Consonance Electronics. It's a 5-amp multi-chemistry battery charger IC with photovoltaic cell MPPT function. So it's all looking pretty good for the moment, and we can see it says, again, maximum power point tracking, Input so your solar panel can be anything from 7.5 to 28 volts. It's a multi cell lithium ion or LiPo battery charger up to 5 amps. PWM switching there on the DC to DC converter. And moving down the data sheet, we find the typical application circuit. And uh, so we can see straight away there is this P channel MOSFET here, a diode. This diode tied to ground and the inductor, so it is definitely doing DC to DC conversion because that's a typical book converter there. We can also see this resistor here, which between these two points on the IC is looking at current, the current flowing through into the battery. So it's definitely looking at the power the watts going into the battery and there's also a couple of voltage dividers here to look at the battery voltage and that sort of thing but on the other side of the diagram there's these two LEDs which say when it's charging when it's completed and they go on you can see that they're high when those states have been reached but on the inside again no mention here of a resistor like we had on this side just a simple voltage divider on the input power supply that goes into this pin called MPPT now I have to say there's some interesting bits about this IC it's clearly powered straight from the solar panel here and uh, I believe there is a little voltage regulator inside the chip itself to power the chip you can also put a thermistor across this pin here, the temperature pin, between the temperature pin and ground and it will do temperature compensation for battery charging. So there's a few nice features in this little IC. And further down the data sheet we have this charging profile graph and there's a pre-charge until the batteries get up to I think it is 66 percent of the full battery voltage. Then there's the constant current phase until we hit that regulation voltage and then the current drops down until it gets down to 95% of the constant current phase at which point the charging turns off completely. So if we're not looking at the currents coming in from the solar panel how are we determining the maximum power point? Well it's done on a constant voltage method um, and the theory is that the solar panel, under a given temperature, uh, the voltage at the maximum power point are nearly always constant, regardless of the different irradiances. So depending on the sun, 
the maximum power point should always be about the same level. Now I'm not wholly convinced by this story, but we will give it a go and uh, perhaps I'll get some connectors on here and uh, we'll see what it does. Now I just went onto the eBay listing to double check uh, what voltage this needed to be connected at and now I have a look at it, actually I've got a very different model. Um, it's the same implementation as far as I can tell uh, but obviously they've changed the resistor, they've shuffled things about a bit on this board and made what, well, a revision 2, a version 2 should we say um, but it says it's a 12.6 3 pack lithium battery charger so that's what I'm going to go with. Now I've got my 3S lithium pack there plugged in and we've got the usual setup. We've got a watt meter here, uh, which is the battery in, the current going into the battery. And we have one here set up for solar in, the current coming in, the voltage from the solar panel. So if I plug in my 3S pack, hopefully we can fit everything on screen. And we can see it's a bit undercharged here. It's 11.5 volts, well that, that's about... 3.75 is it something like that volts per cell and uh, this hasn't powered up there's no leds on the uh, the little charger board here because this gets powered remember via the solar panel so i'll just plug in just 10 watts of monocrystalline panel it's quite a clear day outside so we should get a reasonable there we go, we peaked at 11 watts there, so uh, that panel's overproducing slightly. The uh, red LED has come on on the charging board here, so that should mean it is charging. And it is charging at 16 volts, uh, 600 milliamps, 9 to 10 watts there on the input. And we are seeing that this is still at 11.8. 8 volts and we're getting 8 or 9 watts there going into the battery so the unit itself is consuming about a watt well that's not too bad is it there is a clear difference here between the solar panel voltage at 15 and a half volts and the battery voltage 11.85 volts and a reasonable efficiency of the power one side and the other. So I'm happy that this is doing DC to DC conversion and I'm reasonably happy with the efficiency of that conversion too. However there is a question over whether this is really the maximum power point of my panel. On the back of my panel it says the maximum power point is to be found at 17.5 volts and we're a couple of volts away from that. So unfortunately this one hasn't been set up to be quite optimal for my panels at 17.5 volts. The voltage divider on the input, which goes to that MPPT pin on the uh, 3722 here, isn't quite the right voltage divider for my panels. It's doing a pretty good job, but it's not perfect. And while I was waiting for this one still to turn up, I found this version on eBay as well. And this one uses exactly the same 3722 IC but we've got some different components here. The uh, diodes here at the top, two MOSFETs in parallel um, presumably to deal with the current because this one you can take to higher voltages. This is set for 12.6 volt lithium. This one can go much higher. But also there is a potentiometer here which is acting as that voltage divider on the solar panel input and therefore you can adjust it to the maximum power point of your solar panels. So let's give this one a go. And now we have the alternative version plugged in. Um, same again, battery is going to be here and the solar is going to be down here this time. So let's plug in the battery. And that should prove that my batteries are getting a bit charged here, 11.65 volts there. And uh, let's plug in a solar panel. The same solar panel as before. The LED has gone red. This is a bicolor LED on this one. 
and as you can see my solar panel is now at 17.1 volts and dropping a little bit but we are getting 9.3 watts coming in only 5.5 going into the battery at the moment seems a little less efficient at this moment but that voltage seems to have settled down at about 17 volts on the solar panel but I can adjust that on this potentiometer so if I say that my solar panels are most efficient at 17 and a half volts there well that's not bad is it because I'm now getting 9.6 watts coming in just over 5 watts going into the battery so I do question whether this one is quite as efficient as the previous model we looked at the other adjustment here is for the finish voltage on the battery I don't know what that's set to at the moment because this is the first time I've plugged it in so what I would need to do is wait for this to get up to 12.6 adjust that potentiometer and make sure it doesn't ever go over 12.6 in this example where I have three lithium ion batteries in series but the, um, this solar charge controller can be adjusted to uh, various other voltages let's have a look at the listing for this one so this version is a bit more expensive £7.76 pence with free postage um, at least it is pictured the correct version so it clearly shows that it's 5 amp, 9 volt, 12 volt, 18 volt, 24 volt. Um, its output voltage can be anywhere from 5 to 26 volts stepless. And the input voltage is anything it would need to be above, I guess, 8 to 28 volts on the input. And as long as that's greater than your battery voltage, it should charge quite happily. It does say that it's suitable for 6 or 12 volt batteries. Does it mean lead acid batteries? Well, clearly from the 3722 data sheet, it is set up for lithium batteries, not really 12 volt or 6 volt lead acid batteries, but I guess you could try that with them. So, of course, what happens if I take my panel away from its maximum power point and drop that down to, say, 15 volts or thereabouts? Well, we are getting less watts coming in and if I turn it up beyond its maximum power point to 20 volts let's say a bit more of a twist yeah that's really struggling now we're only well it's climbing up a bit but we're getting four or five watts so this little 3722 chip is quite an interesting little IC it does do DC to DC conversion, definitely. Is it tracking the maximum power point? Well, there's another question. Yes, at the moment with the sun out, 17.5 volts-ish, I'm getting a good level of power out, out of my solar charge controller, and there's a reasonable level going in. The DC to DC converter is reasonably efficient. But under the changing skies as a... Uh, clouds come out and go back in again and that sort of thing am i going to be getting any power out of this panel because we're just tracking the voltage i question that to be honest they are certainly cheap at just over five pound fifty and seven pound seventy for these two different versions of the board the charging profile for lithium ion built into this 3720 seems pretty sensible. It's got that pre-charge, it's got the constant current and the constant voltage stage and the correct cutoff when we get those batteries up to their full charge. But of course there's no battery balancing built into these boards. If you're using it with lithium ion, potentially one of those cells could go over voltage while one of them is under voltage and the charger would just keep charging but that issue could be negated with a separate balance board 
So all in all, I think the 3722 is a really interesting little IC, and here's a couple of implementations of the same IC. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below and comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.